link down below in the description box to EA's website on the deep dive for team builder as that will allow you to create a team with uniforms, logos, players and all that and then be able to download it onto your console of choice and then bring that into Dynasty if you would and then it's only going to be for um, local play. The game is great. It plays great. It sounds great. It's a lot of fun. It's absolutely phenomenal. I'm having a blast. We all know that the game is great from all the people that have been playing the game in early access, but I want to talk to you about a couple of things that are negative because I want to be transparent. I don't want to just be a yes man and go, yeah, bro, it's the best, and that's it, and not talk about some of the things that I think are worth mentioning. You can't edit rosters. You can't edit nil players. What's a nil player? Name, image, likeness. So if you know or didn't know, back in roughly 2014, EA stopped making NCAA football, okay, which is college football. And the reason why they stopped was because the rules and all that kind of stuff with the NCAA was just too strict. It was too weird. So they just parted ways and said, forget it. They were willing to pay for their likeness and all that. And it was just too weird. So fast forward all these years later, now we finally have college football, but it comes at a huge cost. We can use real players. We can use Lane Swafford, okay? And here's what happens when you go to edit him. You can't change his team. You can't do absolutely nothing. Everything is grayed out. You can't even change his handedness. Nothing. Rating, you can't change it. It's grayed out. Attributes, forget it. You can't change it. So if you want like that sandbox feel, you can't do it. And just for transparency and to recap, practically... Every single sports game in existence, including Madden football, allows you to do this. This is not because they don't want you to have fun. It's because it came at a cost. We wanted college football. We got college football, but we got a flat butt. Okay? That's what ends up happening. So you can go to Apparel, though, and you can change, like, the headgear, the torso stuff. Does he have, you know, the, the warmer there? He's got the hand warmers. Maybe you don't want the hand warmers, and you're like, you know what? That looks absolutely ridiculous, and you're thinking to yourself, I, I don't want that shit. So you take it off, and now you can save it, and that becomes like your your roster. There's no physical tab here. There's one, two, three, four tabs. Now we're going to go back to a player that is fake news. He doesn't exist. Kyle Hardy is is fake, as fake gets. So you can tweak him a little bit more if you want. You could change his name. You could change his last name. You could change his position. But you can't change his team, his number, his handedness, his hometown, his state. You can't make him black, white, pink, purple. Uh, you're stuck with how he looks. But you could change all of these. If you want to crank these all the way up to 99, you want to make this guy like a super powerhouse? Great. So they have nothing against you having really strong players they don't want you using nil players scrambling throw away the ball you know like his attributes and in, in this regards not his ratings his attributes is he uh, a rack catcher run and catch right does he fight for the extra yards uh what's is he considered a big hitter does he like stripping the ball whatever what's his penalty tendency you could change that his apparel, obviously. Now there's an extra tab, appearance. His physique. You could change his physique. You could change his height. Okay. You can't make him any taller than seven foot one. And you can change his weight, his arm size. You can change his derriere size. Hey, it says rear size. You want to make that? You want to plump that right up? You could do it. Okay. And then the thighs. Big butt, small thighs. Okay. You could do that if you want. So to me, that is something that's absolutely worth mentioning because I know for a fact this is going to bother some people. It bothers me. I'm not going to stop playing the game because I am going to end up playing this game for what it is, for how it plays and feels and all that stuff. I'm going to keep doing it. Now I want to nitpick about a couple of other little insignificant things that kind of, eh, you know, 
I'm getting over it. My OCD is starting to get numb to, to this stuff. So you can't really do the roster thing. Talked about that. Um, that thing with the stadium where you can have like the thumping college march music with the drums and the saxophones and the trombones and all that kind of stuff. You could turn it off, but you can't separate it from the crowd. So that is really kind of shitty because to me, the actual crowd chants and then the band, which is a huge part of the, of the presentation, to me, those should be different. And that's what I um, want to share with you right now. So if we go to game settings, <clears throat> we go to volume control. The stadium speakers, I've tried them up and down, and it seems to make no difference. The presentation still seems to be the same. So you could do your in-game commentary. Boom. That's great. On the field. So this is like the footsteps, the sidelines, the referee's whistle, the tackles, all that stuff. The grunt. <laughs> great. Those are the players. You could do the music for the main menu. Scales the volume of the menu music. But the problem here is the crowd volume. It scales the volume of the crowd, individual fans, and any other sounds coming from the stands. That includes the band, and I wish that would have been its own separate tab so that we could better have cheers, commentary, and the band a little bit on the download because it is loud. It is loud. Uh, so I leave mine at about like 30 or 40. And it's still like a proper mix. I'm not going like this, squinting my eyes, trying to hear the commentary. And then while I'm talking and all that stuff, and I got all my my sounds uh, good, everything is a nice blend. But I feel like that would have been an extra thing. Or even an ability to completely turn it off, which again, having its own bar would allow me to get rid of that uh, music. Because some teams I like it, some teams I'm kind of like, ugh. I just, I'm just not always into it depending on the, uh, the music. Uh, so along with the music, I want to mention because of that, sometimes they use, depending on the team and when you're defending and you're trying to throw off the offense on your home ground. Yeah. You're defending on your own home turf and now they have the ball. There's a different type of music and sometimes they play the, uh, Na 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 na. I can't I can't mumble the sound, but it's a very popular techno-y kind of song, and that will get you copyright striked if you're on YouTube, like me, and you have to really be careful with that. So what am I supposed to do now? Completely mute the crowd? That's gonna look or feel or sound rather a little bit off so that's something to take into consideration because again this music is just the menu music okay and then i think the last thing i want to mention without actually going into the game is the home field advantage where you'll let's say have the ball and you're gonna throw it and you're on your enemy's rival home field and they've got the advantage. Your lines are going to start squiggling. You won't even know what button is going to throw to what player. That's great. That's part of the, the whole thing. It's that you can't turn that off. As far as I know, you can't turn that off. You could turn off like wear and tear. You could turn off penalties. You can use sliders and all that stuff, right? Like you could go to the skills. You could change, excuse me, all of these. This is the player skills now. Uh, you could turn off penalties, which I did. Okay. Well, I mean, in my dynasty, they're off. Uh, I turn all of these off. Accessibility. So, yeah. So that, to me, I have to admit, kind of bugs me. And the last thing that only seems to work in the, um, in the play now is um, short broadcast. You can't do that in Dynasty, so you can't skip the halftime. You can't skip the replays, and for me, that slows down the game, and it bugs me a little bit. It does. I mean, I, I can't, I can't lie. So if I go to start a game, let you know what? Let me, uh, let me hide my uh, pumpkin head here. Nobody needs to see that now. If we go to play a game, and I can edit my uniform, I can edit the team's uniform. I could change the difficulty. Right? Once I'm ready. 
this is what is not available um, when you're doing a dynasty. As far as I know, this is not here. Event type. Choose the presentation style of your game. So exhibition. Quick presentation. Do you want it, it to be a national championship? I mean, there's like so many of these. It's absolutely insane. Uh, you, you can't do that in a dynasty. I'm never asked if I want to do it. I don't recall being asked in the beginning. Uh, you can do this in Madden. Not to keep talking about Madden, but there's obvious reasons why I'm going to mention it. So for me, that was a, a, a little bit weird. Okay. But um, thankfully, you can do it in, uh, in play now. Exhibition, quick presentation. And then the commentary. You could change the commentary. Even teams on and off. So that's all like fine and dandy. But again, in the Dynasty, I just don't have the ability to do that. So in closing, what I'm going to do is, um, is I'm going to go and actually go to Dynasty. And I'm going to continue. And I'm going to see if it's there. I'm really sorry that this video is really long. I wish I wish it was different, truthfully. I really do. Yeah, just like coach contract. I mean, I've looked at all this stuff. Viewing, viewing the roster, um, team and stats, coach stats. I don't even think you could trade players, like I said. League settings. Like, I've looked at all of this stuff. Like I said, you could change... You know, the difficulty, but when it comes to the presentation, that just does not seem to be there. So I'm going to go ahead and play a game. I'm not going to actually play, but I'm going to go to go as if I was going to play the game like this here. Play the full game, you know, play the moments. Actually, even if I do play the full game and I go to ready, you'll just see that I didn't have an option basically for that for that broadcast Welcome presentation see Amen. i'm clicking all the buttons on my controller right now i cannot skip this whatsoever i can't even pause the game i can't skip it completely can't skip it so yeah i just did that now so for me that is a bit of a bummer but overall this is a great game i'm having a lot of fun I'm glad I got it. I just wanted to bring that to your awareness. Again, a link down below in the description box for the team builder that goes into full detail from EA. What that's all about. It's going to be utilized on the website. Like I said, it's coming out probably tonight so that it's ready for tomorrow. Overall, it's just a really great game, but there are some limitations that you may want to be aware of. Thumbs up if you liked the video. It does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm. Thumbs down if you didn't like it. I'll bend it in half, twist it, break it off in your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally, that'd be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, and if I'm lucky, maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. 27 gigs. Take care, and bye for now.